Hello everyone, this is the Great Iron Review, and this is our NFC West offseason breakdown preview. The Arizona Cardinals had a miserable season, finishing 4-13, and far below expectations, fired Cliff Kingsbury, and now have Jonathan Gannon as their head coach. They are losing multiple starters along the offensive line, Zach Allen, Byron Murphy, and Greg Dortch. A couple of free agent targets, Drew Locke, since Kyler Murray is going to be out for a decent amount of the season, and he may never play a snap for Arizona again. Rashad Penny would pair very well with James Conner. Or Javon Hargrave could be a flexible D-tackle pass rush that they sorely need right now. They have pick three. A couple of draft fits. We expect them to trade out, first of all. But Quentin Johnston, they still need another receiver, especially if DeAndre Hopkins goes. Paris Johnson Jr. or Will Anderson if they do stay put to make the pick. But again, we think they trade out. Keys to the offseason. Figure out who your quarterback's going to be until Kyler Murray plays again. You need to pair someone with James Conner. You got to add to the wide receiver room. You should bring in a player or two on the offensive line, seeing as the old men are gone and free agents. And you just need defensive help all over the place, especially cornerback and defensive line. The Los Angeles Rams sold their soul for the Super Bowl, and it's probably worth it, but they finished 5 and 12 last year, a ton of injuries. They lost Baker Mayfield, Ashawn Robinson, Greg Gaines, Troy Hill, David Long, Taylor Rapp, and Nick Scott. They currently don't really have a starting safety on the roster. A couple of free agent targets, Tristan Hill, Lorenzo Carter, and Zier Adderley. They don't have a lot of cap to move with. They've already begun their teardown by trading Jalen Ramsey to the Dolphins for a third and Hunter Long, signaling Tyler Higby may be next. They do not have any first round picks. A couple of targets later in the draft, Holton Allers from East Carolina or another quarterback. This is a deep class as far as mid-round gems. Israel Abinaconda could be the lead back if Cam Akers is moved and cut. Or Ronnie Hickman, the safety from Ohio State, seeing as they don't have any starters. Our keys to the offseason, you got to embrace the rebuild, get money off the books, and it's going to be a rough season, but it is what it is. They've already started, as we mentioned, but look for more moves to be made. You know, reportedly the only untouchables are Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald, and Stafford, which makes sense. But this team is in for a long season, and Rams fans, we hope the Super Bowl was worth it, which pretty much everyone probably would say it was. But now you're going to enter into a very rough period where McVay is probably gone after this season. The Seattle Seahawks were one of the biggest surprises in all of football last year, led by a resurgent Geno Smith, who they just locked up to a new contract. Doesn't mean they won't be targeting quarterback in the draft, but it takes the pressure off and they can address another need. They're also losing Drew Locke, Rashad Penny, Marquise Goodwin, LJ Collier, Puna Ford, Cody Bartman, Justin Coleman, some starters, but all more or so depth pieces. A couple of free agent targets, Arden Key or Draymond Jones, any flexible defensive lineman that can play different positions. Tremaine Edmonds, with Cody Barton gone, they have a big void at linebacker now. Or Logan Ryan, a hybrid corner safety that can play different parts on the defense for you. They have two first round picks at 5 and 20. A couple of prospect fits for them. Again, a defensive lineman, Miles Murphy, Brian Bressy. Maybe if you're really high on Kalaja Kansi, if you trade back. Kelly Ringo, later, he could pair really well with Tariq Woolen as both two very elite athletes, or J.L. Skinner, later in the draft as he injured himself, but he was very reminiscent of Cam Chancellor out of college. Keys to the offseason, just keep doing what you're doing. This team is surprising. They're not a bad roster. They need a better defense and maybe a few more small pieces in the offense. Their offensive line was much better. Probably need a running mate with Kenneth Walker. But overall, a great season, and look for them to be another wild card team. The San Francisco 49ers were almost the Cinderella story of the league, being led by rookie sensation Brock Purdy. Obviously, it all fell apart due to injuries against the Eagles, but the team still looked great for the most part. They are losing Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, multiple backup tight ends, Mike McGlinky, Maurice Hurst, Samson Ebukam, Aziz Alshair, Jason Verrett, Emmanuel Mosley, Tayshawn Gibson, Jimmy Ward, and Tarvarius Moore. It's more depth than impact starters, except for McGlinky. Overall, this team is a lot of people are coming back. A couple of free agent targets, Garrett Bradbury, Jawan Taylor. They need offensive line depth and starters, as well as Jamel Dean. Their secondary losing some safeties, but also in general, it's never been a strong suit for the 49ers. Well, prospect fits later in day two, maybe Andrew Voorhees, seeing as he's injured. Cameron Latu could be a great backup for George Kittle or Jason Taylor the second from Oklahoma State at safety. He's to the offseason. You got to hope Trey Lance is healthy and is better. Brock Purdy is going to be recovering from surgery as well. You're probably going to need another body in there, maybe just a veteran that's not going to push them, but also can fill in when needed. And you've got to fix your offensive line as far as the players you're losing and the aging veterans. Maybe one more receiver in the room. A backup tight end's not a bad idea. 
They're great at finding low-end linebackers, and you hope that D'Amico Ryans doesn't leave too big of a void that can't be fixed. But the secondary also needs to be addressed in some way, shape, or form.